Hey there, this is Sherry Hayes with MomDelights.com, and today we're going to talk about a little writing experience for essays I'm calling Robins. So stay tuned. So what I wanted to do with this is I have a daughter who loves to talk. When we did an ultrasound when she was in my womb, her jaw was going like this, and we said, whoa, she's going to be a talker. And for the first two years, she really didn't say much, but she's made up for it since. <laughs> she, I mean, uh, she's a verbal person, and she really is a reluctant writer because she can speak and she can express herself much easier in words than she can writing things down. So that's her preferred mode of communication. But so I thought, well, how can I encourage her? And how can I make something for you at the same time? So what I did was I thought, well, you know, it's spring and right now when I'm making this video and robins are a part of spring and robins are there all through the spring and summer and it's kind of like a nature thing. And uh, wouldn't it be fun to do a writing curriculum using robins? And I started thinking about it, and the Lord started popping ideas in my mind you know, I'm so creative. <laughs> and um, so then I just formulated this thing. So what I've done is uh, I have taken, you know, Anna Botsford Comstock's A Handbook of Nature Study. Now, you don't have to buy the book. I thought, what a pain to buy the book just for this whole thing. So, and also, I own this book, but I thought, wouldn't it be easier just to have the information my daughter would need right here included in these pages and she can just work with information on the page. It's just easier, an easier flow. So I took um, the section about the robin out of this book and I took screenshots and so it's not too too clear when you print it out. Um, yeah, you might have to use a magnifying glass if you're over 40, <laughs> but it should be good for, for young eyes. So what I did is I took these uh, pages out and then I took and I used Canva for this so you could do this yourself too but I, I took and I put little note pages so that for each paragraph then the instructions tell the child what to do and they go through and um, then after all these paragraphs are done then we're going to rewrite them here and I explain I have, to, I have instructions your junior high student or high school student could easily take this and go through it themselves and not have to have you any involvement from you except to check on their work. I'm, I'm, you know, that's what I really made it for. So, um, although you might have to break it up for them, like one day they might read the instructions, the next day start with the other parts. So, the instructions kind of go through basic what basic essay writing is, like what writing is, what essay writing is, and give some examples. And then we talk about how Benjamin Franklin taught himself to be a good writer. And so, um, we break this all down and there's there is uh, we talk about the warm-ups and I'll show that in a minute and then there's a scripture place so um let me show you what the warm-ups are now this is something I put because my daughter loves this stuff and I think other kids would too so these are the warm-ups and the warm-ups are this is a page I got from graphics fairy and this is from an old reader and it's a little poem about birds so this is in poetry and the and going with the idea of what Benjamin Franklin did, um, the, the student is supposed to read this poem and rewrite it in prose. So there's a poem, there's prose. So that's one thing. Another thing is just, this is a drawing, and so they're going to color it in the colors of the robin. So that'd be fun. And so here's the colors of the robin. <laughs> here's another thing. I got these two from Graphics Fairy, by the way. And so this is um, spending some time uh, gathering adverbs and adjectives and do a three a haiku and or you know uh, or another type of poem using the adjectives and adverbs they can think of concerning um, robins and here's a place once they write it they can write it neatly in this and make it like really pretty so that's something another warm-up what I'm calling a warm-up is to take this nest it has a grid pattern on it and re replicate it here according to the grid pattern and here's a robin that they can do that with. So, um, what is the purpose of these warm-ups? Well, my daughter also kind of gets easily distracted. And sometimes she feels like she has little writer's block. And so whenever a child is working on this and they just kind of feel kind of antsy, they can do one of these things. They can draw or color or think of adjectives. You know, they don't have to just stick just to the writing curriculum. They can have some spaces just to do some little dills. I call them diddles. <laughs> 
because I'm always diddling when I'm thinking. I don't know about you guys, but I do that. Um, so this is just something to do and it's really simple, really easy. You could split it up in a few days for, you could have it like for a month. Like this could be their unit study on Robbins and it's a co-unit study on both essays, uh, informational essays and, uh, for Robbins. And so it could be just kind of a fun thing for the spring. So it's free download and I will put the, um, I will put the link for the blog post and you have to scroll through the blog post to find this free download on my blog, momdelights.com. So I hope this blesses you and you have a wonderful day. Please like and subscribe and click the bell if you want to know more stuff coming up. Bye-bye.